This video will show you how to do a chi-square test uh, in Excel. We're using questions 2 and 27 from the Avery case study and we generated this data using pivot tables which was shown in a previous video. Uh, one thing that we may want to ask in this data is um, are males and females different statistically in their willingness to purchase from a catalog. We may do that for targeting reasons or who we send the catalog to, things like that. Uh, we could potentially eyeball this data and maybe think that because uh, more men than women have said that they're very willing to purchase from a catalog that we can draw some conclusion from that. But we want to do a statistical test to tell us for sure so that we're not just guessing. Um, the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually show some percentages here on the total population. So for example, uh, 50 out of 124 people said not at all. 35 out of 124 said somewhat. And 39 out of 124 said very. So that gives you about 40% said not at all, 28% said somewhat, and 31% said very. Okay, what we're going to do is start by assuming that there is no difference between males and females in the target population. When we do statistical analysis, we do always start with the assumption that there is no difference or no relationship between the variables that we're looking at. What we would expect to see if there were no difference between males and females is since 40% of everyone said not at all, we'd expect to see 40% of males say not at all and 40% of females say not at all. So let's see if that is true or not. Uh, we have the subtotals here. There were 65 males in the sample. If we take the 65 and multiply by our 40% here, uh, that is 26.2 males. There were 59 females in the sample. 59 times our 40% is 23.8 about. We are, even though we're talking about people here, we are not going to round. Keep the decimals here on the people, as strange as that may be. Uh, so what we're saying is if there were no difference between males and females, we would expect, expect to see 26.2 men say not at all. In fact, 25 said it. We would expect to see 23.8 females say not at all, but in fact 25 said it. Again, the chi-square test will tell us if that is statistically significant or not. Uh, for somewhat, there are 65 men. We would expect, if there's no difference, 28% of them to say somewhat. And then we take our 59 females and multiply by 28%. And then we do the same thing for very. We expect 31% of each group to say very. For men, that is 65 of them times that percentage. And for women, it is 59 times that percentage. All right, so to summarize what we've done so far, this is the actual data that we saw. This is the data that we would expect to see if there were no difference between males and females. The chi-square test will tell us if this difference is statistically significant. In Excel, a chi-square test is very easy. The text tells you how to do it by hand. You do not need to know how to do it by hand. It is equals chi test, open parentheses. It's asking for the actual range of data. That is this data here, comma, it's then asking for the expected range of data. That is this down here that we calculated. Close parentheses, and then it will give us a number. This is about 0.36. Uh, this is a um, number that we have to compare to 0.05, which is our benchmark when we do a chi-square test. If the result of this test is less than 0.05, it means that we have enough evidence to conclude that males and females in the target population are in fact different if it's less than 0.05. If it is greater than 0.05, we do not have enough evidence to say that males and females are different in the target population. 
and that is what has happened here. The number we generated, 0.36, is more than our target, which is 0.05, meaning we do not have enough evidence here to say that males and females are different in the target population. Uh, now, just to be clear, we can see that there is a difference in the sample that we drew. Uh, for example, in very, if there were no difference between males and females, we'd only expect to see 20 um, males say very, but in fact 24 did, and we'd expect to see almost 19 females say very, but only 15 did. So that is a difference in the sample. Our question, though, is, is that enough of a difference to then make an inference about the target population, which is going beyond the sample? The answer, because our chi-square statistic is significantly bigger than 0.05, is no. This is not enough evidence to conclude that males and females are different in the target population for this set of data.